good morning YouTube. I recently upgraded my DVB Link TV server from version 5.5 to version 6. Uh, this is the configuration screen on my Windows PC. And then I also moved that license file from my Windows PC to my Synology NAS, which this is. So I wanted to do this video and show you how to do all of those steps and also give you a little known way to transfer your license between platforms for no additional cost. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so this is a screen capture of my old PC configuration when I was running version 5.5. Uh, with DVB Link, you get the t main server package is free. What you license and pay for are the signal sources. Uh, this is the TV source package. And then there's also program guide packages that you can add on and those are registered to a given machine and you can see that information down here if you're upgrading a major version number from like i'm going from 5.5 to 6 that's what they call a voluntary paid upgrade you don't have to upgrade but I saw there were enough benefits in terms of new features to upgrade. And then I also needed to upgrade because the version on my Synology disk station was the new version 6. So I had to uh, upgrade. And at the same time, I took advantage of a little documented exception to transfer my license from a PC to a, a NAS for no additional cost, which normally you can't do that. So what I did to start here was I clicked on the TV source package and then I clicked uninstall. And what that does is it frees up this license file. So then the next step is I went to my PC. So this server is a native application that runs on whatever operating system you're uh, running on. Yeah, so as far as installing the new server, uh, you can just download the package off of the DVB Logic website. And then if you're updating from an older version, you run this batch file, DVB link server update dot bat. And I imagine they have that on other platforms as well and i think you have to do a reboot in the middle there it removes the old server installs the new one reboots your machine so that all that can take place so you do that and you're end you end up with dvb link version 6 installed on your pc okay so this is the web page on uh, the dvblogic.com site where they talk about the paid upgrade from DVB Link version 4 or 5 to version 6. You do get a discount on the upgrade versus paying for a brand new license. So what you do is you go to this website here, license.dvblogic.com, and you need to create an account there if you don't have one already. And when you go to that website, you'll see this screen here. You need to go to Actions and then Upgrade to version 6.x. And when you click on that, you'll see something like what's shown below here, depending on what operating system you're on and what packages you have installed. And in my case, this is what I had on my screen. So you basically click here to upgrade and that'll generate a shopping cart page. You pay the whatever price they have listed. I think in my case, it was like $22. Depends on the exchange rate and, and what you're upgrading from and to. After a while, you'll get an email confirmation 
and then you can uh, go over to your server machine and then you can go to the package center and install the new package. So this would be a straight upgrade. You would install that package through their package center and then you would click on it and then click activate and your license file would be upgraded. So for that, you're pretty well set. However, if you're doing a transfer between systems, you can't do that online, at least automatically. You've got to contact DVB link support to do that. And normally you can only transfer between similar systems but you can't move licenses from, say, a PC to a Synology NAS without buying a new license. What you need to do is you've got to contact DVB Logic, their support people, and uh, they'll walk you through the process. Big thumbs up. They gave me a lot of help in doing this upgrade and transfer, and they were really, really responsive, and being that they're in Europe and I'm in the U.S., I was able to uh, post a question at 11.30 at night and get an answer in five minutes. That was pretty neat. What I had to do, I kind of laid out before, was I installed DVB Link 6 on my PC and then went through the voluntary paid upgrade here, paid for that, and then what I did was I came down here to my Synology and got this license information. So I copy and pasted this information into the email reply from the CVB Logic support people. So this is the system information, system ID for my Synology NAS. And I emailed this information to them. They updated the license file on the license portal. And then when I went back here and clicked here and activate, it came back and said it's registered. And if you're doing a transfer between dissimilar systems, if you do that while you're doing an upgrade, there's no additional cost. If I had just decided to start using the Synology without upgrading my PC version, I would have had to pay full price for this. So I transferred from my Windows PC to my Synology NAS. I've been running that for a couple of weeks now. It's been working really nice. And the nice thing now is I don't have to leave my PC on and it doesn't have to wake up at night to record programs. And I also don't have to transfer files from the PC over to the Synology NAS once they're recorded. I can just use them directly off of the NAS. So that way I've got everything on one box and I'll show you uh, in a following video how to set up and install the EVB link server on a Synology NAS. There's a couple of tricks there, so I'll show you how to do that. Yeah, if you have any questions about this, post up in the comment section below. And if you uh, like these sorts of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can check out my DVB link playlist. I'll put a link to that in the upper right corner. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching.